Hey guys, welcome back to a new tutorial here on YouTube about NBA 2K26. Well, with this uh, quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the new 2K26 file explorer by Loi. Uh, well, if you go to my website, uh, chayu.com, uh, here on the top, you have the link for this awesome tool. Uh, you can search uh, with this tool any single file from 2K26. Uh, even you can extract these files, uh, so you are going to get the IFF files. So you can uh, open this uh, this file to create new mods, uh, for example, for uh, jerseys, logos, arenas, cards, um, portraits, headshots, uh, even sci fi files as well. So um, let me show you how you can use this. So this is the main uh, post with all the info here and here you have the link okay so once you get the file you are going to see something like this so you have to open this uh, file with WinRAR and you just need to drag and drop uh, this file okay I'm going to re uh, replace uh, the previous one so yes here so now you have to uh, run this file and here if you uh, see this uh, window uh, you have to press on more info and here you have to uh, click on run, okay? So here is, as you can see, this is the, this is the tool. And here you have uh, open game directory. So you have to select uh, the location of the main solution folder of MB2K26. So, so you have to click here and now you have to go to the main installation folder uh, it's on a steam steam apps common and 2k26 okay so select uh, this folder and that's all so when you close this uh, tool and you run this tool again so you can see here you already have the location okay so yes you have to click on the location and voila you have all the files here so here you have uh, all the folders from game files. Uh, for example, if you uh, open this one, uh, here you have all the basketballs uh, files. Okay, so uh, for example, this one is the for all this all star. If you want to extract any file, you have to press on the right button of your mouse, and here on export okay export and i'm going to select the desktop uh press and select this folder and here is the file okay the folder the file and you can open these iff files with seven zip okay so now i'm going to go to the main folder and here on chart uh, char uh sorry char uh sick uh, here you have all the PNG files for the side faces and her facial hair and texture files. The same, uh, for example, if you press on a face file, uh, for example, this one, and you even can see the a preview okay a preview of the texture so here on Dornas you have the Dornas for every single team uh, for example Sixers uh, don't have um, a Dornas file by, by default because the ID uh, for Sixers is 000, zero, zero. but for example uh, we have a specific uh, tornas for, for the backs. And the same for bulls. Okay, so if you want to edit any tornas file, yes, you have to press on export. And so you are going to be able to edit the textures. Uh, so if you press on files, here on clothing is for the font files of the jerseys. And here on levels is for the arena files and cards. So if you see this arena, um, INT is the interior, okay, so this is the arena file, and the floor is the card file. So here is the arena file, as you can see. Here, 
DRCs and flags, and more logos, and here the banners, and here uh, we have the floor file. This is the card of the Sixers, and here on go with things is the um, these are uh, main files. Okay, here you're going to find uh, wipes, uh, scoreboards, and more. And here on player uh, image, you are going to find all the portraits and headshots. Uh, so you can see, you can see the preview of the portrait. This is for the coaches. And here are the headshots. If you see a G, uh, it means uh, for for the headshots and an R. Uh, probably they are he here, okay, with R. They are the action photos, okay, the portraits of the full body. Okay, so here, uh, logos, you can see all the logo files. So as you can see, this uh, tool is pretty cool uh, because you can see any single file in game, you can export them and you can edit them, okay, um, and make sure when you edit them, uh, you copy uh, these files with the same folders into your mods folder, okay? So that's all guys, I hope it worked for you and thanks for watching my videos as always and see you in the next one, bye.